Hello everyone, News 8 meteorologist Leanne Beyer here, and today we are here to talk about the Enhanced Fujitsu Scale, or the EF Scale for short. So, this is the way that meteorologists categorize tornadoes. So you sometimes hear an EF0, EF1, EF2, that is representing the Enhanced Fujitsu Scale. So let's talk about it a little bit. Unlike hurricanes, which are categorized as soon as they start developing and could be long before they make landfall, tornadoes actually cannot be assessed until the event is over and meteorologists head out to certain sites that potentially could have been seen um, radar indicated or people had visuals of the tornado, so they head out to that site and they assess the damage associated with the tornado. And so there are two main things that meteorologists categorize these tornadoes with and that is the damage associated with it and then they use that damage to try and figure out the what's the best word I'm looking for the range of wind speeds that this tornado could have been at so there are six different levels of the scale an EF0 being the weakest and an EF5 being the most catastrophic so let's talk about some of the damages that can be associated with each different scale or each different level, we could say, on the scale. So an EF0, so not too long ago, Western New York had a bunch of tornadoes touch down. I think we had seven confirmed that touched down, ranging between EF0s and EF1s. So the damage with these were minor to moderate. Luckily, I think no one was injured, which is very good to hear. But let's talk about the damages that were associated with this. So... We could, we could have seen some damage to gutters as well as siding, shingles peeled off, large branches broken off, and power outages. And the typical wind speeds for these tornadoes are usually between 65 and 86 miles an hour. So, some minor damage, not a whole lot, nothing that can't be fixed. Heading now to EF1 tornadoes, which the wind speed range is between 86 and 110 miles an hour, where we could see some moderate damage. So we could see some small trees uprooted, broken windows, poles can be toppled over, and significant roof damage. So a little bit more of some damage, and that's what meteorologists use to try and categorize these tornadoes because, unfortunately, no one's going to be standing, I hope, I, of course I hope, no one's going to be standing inside of a tornado trying to figure out the wind speeds. So, um, meteorologists make their uh, their best guesstimate, we could say, and use context clues with damage and everything all around the site. Heading now to EF2 tornadoes, which I believe is the strongest tornado that has been recorded in western New York. Wind speed ranges between 111 and 135 miles an hour, and the damage for these can be considerable. So cars can be flipped over, most poles generally are knocked down, roofs are typically ripped away, and larger trees can be uprooted. So definitely more damage than the first two, but as we continue going up the scale, you'll start to see that the damage is more catastrophic. Heading now to an EF3 tornado. The wind speeds are between 136 and 165 miles an hour. This is definitely more severe damage. Most uh, standing objects are unfortunately toppled. Vehicles are displaced, barked, stripped from trees, and entire floors can be destroyed of a home. So these are... Tornadoes can be deadly, but it's important to keep yourself safe, and the damage can, unfortunately, can be replaced. Your life cannot be. Heading now to EF4 tornadoes, where the wind speeds now are between 166 and 200 miles an hour. And so, you hear most about most of these EF3, EF4 tornadoes, primarily in the Great Plains as well as the Midwest. And you could even hear about it in the southeast a little bit, near like Alabama, Mississippi. So, it's these are frightening, but... For people down there, they are a little bit more accustomed, I guess I could say, to these violent storms. So it's always good that they, most people usually have storm shelters or basements that they can safely stay in. So this, the amount of damage that is experienced or categorized with this level is extreme. So much of the landscape is stripped. Most homes are leveled and cars can be thrown in the air. 
So it is pretty, pretty catastrophic. And now heading to our last category, which is indeed catastrophic. EF5 tornadoes. You don't hear about them a lot. And it's the same thing with a Category 5 hurricane. They are very rare, but when they happen, they make headlines because they are so catastrophic. Homes are swept away, grass ripped up from ground, and even parts of some concrete can be ripped up from the ground. The wind speeds associated with EF5 tornadoes usually exceed 101 miles an hour or more, which is absolutely insane. So I hope you learned something new today. I know that we don't often experience tornadoes here in western New York, but I thought it should be good to learn more about how meteorologists try and categorize these.